Hi everybody, Patrick here from Engineering Shock and ElectronicLessons.com. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, just a short video. What I have here is an array of solar cells, mini solar cells, and uh, what this, uh, these solar cells are connected to is an LM317 circuit with a heat sink. Now if you don't know what an LM317 is, it's a DC to DC vo variable voltage regulator. So I can change the, the voltage based on the input voltage. I can change the output between 1.25 volts and whatever the input voltage is. Anyway, um, what I, I had it here for another reason, and then I, I was using it to charge supercapacitors, and then I figured, why don't I do something fun with it? So what I did was, you can't see them right now because they're behind my bookcase, but I've got two 400 farad supercapacitors tied in series. Uh, so the, make, I've made it into a series bank of 5.4 volts at 200 farads. And I used the solar panel to charge them up during the day to about 5 volts. And uh, it, yeah, I used that power each day to charge this, or to power this. Merry Christmas, everybody. This is my creepy Christmas cat. It's actually a Chinese luck cat. And there's a little actuator inside that... Um, that that requires two AA batteries, and it will wave at you for a little while until the batteries run out. So what I've done is I've, the supercapacitors will uh, charge during the day, and he will keep waving. And then at night, it will keep waving in, as the discharge as the capacitors slowly discharge. Uh, this cat has been waving uh, successfully for over a month now, nonstop on the supercapacitors, thanks to the solar energy and the stored power in the capacitors. So this is actually, as I said, a Chinese luck cat. Hopefully it brings me a lot of luck. I love it. My girlfriend absolutely hates it. But uh, I hope, hopefully you found this kind of interesting. I love playing with supercapacitors, and uh, my kitty likes being powered by supercapacitors. So thanks for watching, guys.